Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Play Starseed Pilgrim. We are going to uh, check out another level today. We have 45 seeds that I have farmed up, but I just wanted to show you something that I found uh, while I was exploring around off camera, which I kind of regret. I wish I had been recording this because I found something pretty cool over here. I saw this and I was like, where does this go? And so I explored it a little bit and it ended at a dead end. And I was thinking, well, okay, so this will probably just wrap around since the universe is basically a torus. So I started building up this way and I saw there was another level, a level that I did not recognize. And if we get up here, it is quite interesting. It's got some garbled text at the bottom. At the top it says, run away from this, the truth we forgot, the lie. So there is nowhere for us to go from here. There's no entrance. So that is something that I am going to probably be coming back to. I think we have to probably, my guess is that we have to beat every other level. So it's really cool to still be discovering things this far into this game, still be kind of finding new stuff to be amazed by. So let's head back down this way, see if we can find our way to some place that we recognize. Hopefully this will take us somewhere we've been before. I mean, there's seeds everywhere, so we must have been all of these places at some point in the past, but it's been so long. Here we go. Ah, here we go. So we're very close to the starting area. And I believe if we go to the left, we get to I Fell Into Dusk. And if we head down here, we get back around to the starting area. I think then down to our left is Mired Low, and to the left of that is Hopeless I Ignored It, which is the one that I am actually heading for today. So there's Mired Low. And that's probably not as easy of a jump as I should have there. But that's kind of how the seeds played out. So here is Hopeless I Ignored It. So this one, we're going to have a particular difficulty in getting into the darkness, into the second phase, because we do not fall through the darkness, we stand on top of it. And so that's going to change things up considerably, but we're going to start out basically the way that we always do. So uh, having a big stockpile here is going to be really helpful because one of the strategies that I have for, for dealing with the darkness in this, uh, in this level is I just throw down stuff randomly until I get something that will trap me like a red one is the easiest. Now we do want to stay on top of things, make sure that we are keeping pace. I do want to, over here, just plant this, get that going, but we do want to head home and harvest before it gets out of reach. There we go. And then uh, we have some more seed growing seeds to plant. Don't have a great place to plant them, but if, let's see, if we plant it there, I think that will do well. And then I want to actually dig that out and fill it with that. That'll give us a nice uh, base of operations to kind of move forward from. Don't have a great use for this red one right now. Uh, we have not even gotten close to connecting up with everything we need to connect up with. So I'm going to discard it. We don't have to worry very much about economy. We have a really good stockpile. And so I want to try and resist the temptation to uh, really farm hard. We have another uh, one of these blue ones that is basically going to be... We're basically going to throw it away by planting it there. Um, it just turns into the slime. Not very useful. But I'm hoping that we can get uh, down a little bit. I actually probably should have planted this even lower than I did. 
because I want to get this uh, orange one kind of down here and see if we can start making our way towards some of these keys, though there's actually one up there that's looking very promising now. That's about to go out of reach, so we're going to gather that up. So let's, uh, let's set this off. And it uh, looks like that's one key up there, which is not ideal at all. We have another red one uh, here. If we plant it here and let the darkness catch it, then it will only cover up that purple once that purple has done its work. And now we have another pink one we don't really care about, an orange one that's going to give us some flexibility, some maneuverability, and it looks like we are hitting uh, really quickly in this level. You hit some of these large objects. Now, uh, what I don't see that I really want to see is ice. Ice is super useful in this level because it does not fully corrupt, and so you can plant things in it. And so the lack of ice is a little bit troubling. We can just dig these up and then replant right there. And we don't have great options. Like, if this connects up, uh, we don't have great options for where to go after that. So I think connecting up is not what I want to do yet. But uh, the darkness is coming up on us very quickly. And so I have to make some decision. And I think... I'm, I'm so indecisive right now. And that's about to cost us pretty dearly. So let's... Let's see, put this... Yeah, put this to the right. It'll connect up. I want to get that red one down to give us a little bit more of a base to work from. Set that off. There we go. Don't want that. That's not very useful, but it will give us a place to plant that. Set that off. And uh, we're still pretty desperate. But we have two keys now, which... E oh! Oh, that was bad. Okay, we're going to shoot across here. Uh, that just barely didn't connect up, but that should actually get us uh, our third key and our door in one fell swoop. So now we have to very quickly figure out a way of crushing ourselves. And luckily we have a red one right here. Just need to set it off and then stand on it. And I forgot the rule. I didn't even think about that. That is a disappointing end, but I feel like we are really able to take on this level. I feel like it's not going to be much longer before we get it. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to farm off camera a bit more next week. Uh, we can take on Hopeless I Ignored It, or we can take on uh, I Fell Into Dusk again. And they're both turning out to be very big challenges, and so I'm not sure... Which one? I'll probably end up alternating between them, but I've not yet decided. So that's all coming up. If you if you have any suggestion, I would love to hear it about which one you'd rather see. I know I've kind of been bashing my head against I Fell Into Dusk for a while now, and that one is, is kind of turning out to be a major nemesis. But this one, this one is is turning out to be just about as problematic, and so... It will be interesting to see what more we need to learn, what more we need to do to take that on, but I'm looking forward to it. I know that we can beat this, and so hope that you will continue to join me as we do that. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.